guys. So, <clears throat> get ready with me. Just kidding. I get a lot of questions about how I get ready with a neck brace. So, thought I'd show you straightening my hair. <laughs> It's a bit difficult, as you may suspect. You don't realize how much you turn your head getting ready. Or maybe you do. Or how much you lean forward. See, I still have a little give with my neck brace. And... You can see I do lean forward a tiny bit there, which won't be the case after I have my fusion. I won't have that give. See how much I did there? So, I think I might invest in a hairbrush straightener. I forgot to spray my hair with heat protectant. Okay, so I'll probably get the hairbrush straightener because then I won't have that problem. I don't know why I just twisted it. Okay. I won't need to like, I'll have to try and lean forward a bit, straightening it. So, I've been having increasing problems showering because it's about the only time I don't have my neck brace on nowadays. And yesterday it got to a point where I was just like, I can't, can't shower without a neck brace now, which is unfortunate. So showered yesterday and it's not like I'm taking long showers because that would cause a lot of problems. I can't hold my head up that long. Most of the time I lean against the shower wall while I'm in there anyway. But yesterday I felt pretty decent before the shower and I needed to wash my hair. So I got in After the shower, I felt awful, had the worst migraine and neck pain, and I ended up on the couch all day in sunglasses, dying in pain, and wishing I hadn't showered and I still had greasy hair. So the last about three weeks, I've had increasing problems showering without a neck brace on and I'll have I'll lose my vision and I'll get a lot of pain I'll get like the feeling of the wind knocked out of me um so I I don't have the luxury of showering without the neck brace now so how that's gonna look is I'm gonna have I have two neck braces because I'm rough on them, I guess. <laughs> Wearing them 24 sevens a lot of wear and tear. And so I'll have, I'll rotate my neck braces. I'll have one on and I'll shower with the one on and then I'll switch to my other one with the dry pads on it and I'll dry the other neck brace out and let those pads dry out. Then my next shower, shower in the one I'm wearing, and then I'll switch them out. So I've always taken baths with them on. I have a bath pillow that kind of helps make it more comfortable wearing one in the bath, but 
pouring one in the shower now. So that's fun. Um, people ask me a lot if I'm who, hold on. Randomly, I just almost pass out, get the wind knocked out of me, get really bad pain behind my eyes, and I get super weak in the legs. This is one reason I walk with a crutch, even though a lot of the time I do have weak legs or unstable or I have such bad spine pain. I need, I need to lean on it. Just be able to walk the small distances. But this happens all the time. So anyway, whew. that's what happens when I stand for seven minutes. Okay, so People ask me a lot if I'm nervous for surgery. My answer is not yet. I am currently very excited for surgery to happen because this is my life. I can't do anything. I don't even get ready every day, but once in a while I've just got to because it's about the only self care I can do. I used to work out every day and do so many things for self-care and I can't do those things anymore. So, um, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get nervous just right leading up to the surgery currently. My husband and I are both more nervous about the recovery and specifically about my mental health following recovery. Um, a lot of people with Chiari or instability pushing on their brainstem struggle, well, and EDS, struggle with depression and anxiety. And um, mine's pretty severe after my third, my third, after my last son, my fourth son, I had postpartum psychosis. And at 18 months postpartum, I ended up in the mental hospital for five days. It was a very difficult time for me. Well, the whole time. For the first two years of his life was very difficult for me. And and my husband and so it was January 2019 that I was admitted and that is just over a year ago I'm doing really well mentally now I'm probably the men healthiest mentally and the strongest mentally so it's really the best timing to go through such a big surgery like this that's gonna take a lot of mental strength um, through recovery um, but it's still a concern um, I was only really considered in remission after getting my medication right and working with EMDR and my psychiatrist and my therapist um, for about six weeks when all of a sudden my body did this super fast. I'd had symptoms for years, but within about seven days, I went from functioning normal to in complete paralysis in the hospital, unable to speak when I could. It was super slow and robotic, um, completely not filling anything up to my, my rib cage. 
um, not, you know, being able to move my legs or anything in just the craziest amount of pain. So then this happened <clears throat> and so we're more nervous about my recovery. Um, just, and I'm also allergic to all painkillers. So there's concern with the anesthesia and then having such a intense brain neck surgery where you're screwing into each disc and adding bone in there as well, the pain level. And then my husband will only be with me for five days post-op before he'll be flying home and my mom will be with me the rest of the time. So um, that's awesome. But the recovery takes a really, really long time. And you're in a lot of pain for a long time. So, um, when I get well enough to start like being up and doing things, um, that will be like the hardest transition, like mentally be able to start trying to do things and not, and just that realization, oh my gosh, I can't move my head, turn my neck, but honestly, it's not going to be that different because this is my range of motion. To turn my, my head, I already go like this. I have to use my core to look. When you normally turn your head to talk to someone, if I'm like looking forward and they're to my side and we're just having a short conversation, I just go like this and look out of the corner of my eye. Oh good, I'm glad you're okay, bud. So, it's not that big of a transition. But it's just like the thought of, oh my gosh, this is actually like for life. But I can't not have the surgery. I need to be able to be a mom again and have the best quality of life and stop the, the, the instability the best we can. So anyway, that's how I do my hair. And that's my ramblings for today.